R slash rules horror. Posted by you slash salty syrup 4225. Welcome to Polk County. Welcome traveler to our beloved little county we call Polk for short. Polk County is a great place for white water rafting, hiking, driving through the Smokies, and much more. We have things from outdoor adventures, to amazing local cuisine. We hope you fall in love with our small hometown like us. Just a few things you might want to learn about us before you get settled, after all you don't want your face on the back of a milk carton do you? 1. Have fun. We have lots to see and explore out here. 2. Always have a fully loaded pistol at all times. Along with an extra ammo. You never know what you could run into out here. 3. Always have a flashlight with extra batteries. The power goes out in a blink sometimes so it's best to have a light source at all times. It hates the light. 4. Never, and I mean never go to McDonald's. It's just a front for some shady shit you don't want to get caught up in. 5. Do not go out after 10.34 p.m. After this time the critters like to come out in full force. Some aren't friendly unfortunately and we'd hate for a ranger to find one of your teeth in the woods. 5.A. If you're stupid or just unlucky enough to be out after 10.34 p.m., then you better listen closely to what I'm about to tell you. If you hear screaming, sprint away at top speeds. This means that one of critters caught itself a victim and you wouldn't want to be made dessert. 5.B. If you happen to come across a dog at this hour, refer to Rule 2. Keep a fully loaded pistol at all times. Don't be afraid to shoot that bastard in the face. It ain't gun show you any mercy, don't show it any either. 5.C. If you see a creature in the tree line, stand as still as possible and don't breathe. It will think you're just a prop and move on. 5.D. Try to make it to a house as fast as you can. Any door with the number 6 in its address name will let you in. Any other one will let you in, but at a steep price. I have heard it's rather difficult to fish with one arm. 6. If you are going white water rafting, make sure your guide is a black guy. If he is any other race, then make up an excuse right before you have to go and wait for a black guy. 6.A. If you broke rule 6 and went rafting with this thing, put a helmet on and prepare to hold your breath. When the raft is put into the water jump into it. It doesn't matter how cold it is, just jump out of the damn raft. That thing you're with is trying to take you to its ritual grounds. 7. If a homeless man asks you for food or money, give him ATL East a quarter. If you don't have money but you have food give him it. 7.A. If you have none of these things do not make eye contact and act like you didn't hear him. If he asks again but in a louder tone, stab him. 7.B. If you were unfortunate enough to make eye contact with him to shoot yourself, he will try to devour your soul for being greedy. 8. If you hear dogs barking after 7.02 pm, then foe the following. First grab sea salt. Second make a ring of sea salt around your bed. Next, hide under your covers and try not to breathe. Do this until the barking has ceased. It means the dogs have taken care of the critters. 9. If you happen to see a cat pay attention to its fur color and refer to the following. 9.A. If it is a black cat, it's a good omen. It is just there to protect you. When you see it kneel down and pet it on its head. After that thank it for letting you pet it. 9.B. If it is a blonde cat, you need to feed it. If you have no food give it a body part. I suggest a toe. 9.C. If the cat is orange, shoot it in the face. That is not a cat. 9.D. If the cat is multicolored, just leave it be. It's just hanging out and means no harm. It does not like being touched though so keep that in mind. 10. If you decide to go hiking in the mountains, bring the following. Bear spray, flashlight, batteries, pistol, ammo, buck knife, lots of water, and plenty of snacks. 11. There are three hiking trails, green frog, cougar's paw, and the devil's tail. Only hike the green frog trail. The others are packed to the brim with dangerous wildlife. Veil. That's all. Follow these rules to the T if you want to serve I mean have a good time. Enjoy your stay in Polk County. Slash hopefully I won't see your face on the back of a milk carton. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash legitimate pizza 9908. Track line 52. Well I did it. I found a high enough paying job. I just have to read this book and signing this paper and I can start next week. Smile I'm so excited, Howard thinks to himself. Hello. Congratulations on your employment with Stellar Light Rail and Busco. We are excited to welcome you on as our new operator underscore. Your road will be track line 52 underscore. 
We are looking forward to the many opportunities this job can give you and trust that you will review this handbook carefully. Howard looks at how thick the manual is and groans to himself. He decides to skim through it, despite its intimidating size. One dot pace tubs. Yep everything my new commander, boss already told me. Wait. Hazard pay? Howard continues to think. Hazard pay is defined as pay that is given when job conditions are deemed to be more dangerous than normal salary is appropriate for. Hazard pay will be times two of normal pay and times two and a half of overtime. Excessive overtime on hazard pay is grounds for termination. Lines that include automatic hazard pay are as following, bus 12, 24, 36, 52, 102, track lines 4, 8, 16, 52, 106, 242. Howard is intimidated by thins, uh, I know I like money but, ha, huh, I have to pay them back. 2. Dot dress code. Howard did not put much effort into reading this section. Instead he was disappointed in humanity, because there were some dump rules here. 3. Dot insurance. I'm not reading this, Howard muttered to himself. 4. Dot general rules. I have to read this, Howard muttered again. A. Dot follow the non-discrimination policy. B. You are not a cop or a hero, call 911, call even if you survived the war. C. No eating, talking, engaging with a mobile device, or other distracting behavior while in or around moving vehicles unless necessary to the job. D. You do not see the shadow people. Wait, what was that last one? Debt collector don't stalk public transit do they, right? Howard was right. 5. OSHA. Howard leaned back in his chair. Well that was a long read. All of it obvious too. I wonder if the mafia is a workplace hazard, Howard thought to none. 6. Sight injuries. Howard made a realization reading this section, here are his thoughts on it, hey it doesn't matter if it's an accident, deranged passenger, or debt collector, it's all covered, d. 7. Road specifics, printed as needed. A. There is an abundance of shadow people on this route. Ignore them. Do not engage. Do not treat them even slightly different. B. You may see passengers with bright green faces. They are harmless. Do not let them pay fare. They damage electronics by touching them. Uh, what? Thought Howard. See your route will be cancelled in a hailstorm. When a hailstorm starts kick off all the passengers, and turn off the lights. Say code hail into the radio and turn it off. Turn off your phone. D. If ice. What the hell am I reading, Howard said aloud. There was a knock at the door and Howard answered it. You have three weeks left to pay, a smile crept along the man's shadowed face, unless you have it now. And no, but I'm about to start a job with SS Stellar, Howard stuttered. The man in the black suit interrupted, Hey, you notice how I don't got a gun this time? Yes sir, responded Howard. Well unless you like waterboards and nettles I suggest you have it in three weeks, the man said. And with that he turned, and slammed the door in Howard's face. Yes sir. Howard shouted at the door. The his thoughts went as followed, never mind the weird rules, I need this job now. D. If I centers the car pour out any water you may have on you. It will give the thing something to do. Return to normal operation once the car is free of ice. Cool, nice and veggie, still better than water up the nose, ha ha ha. E. There is a girl who will bring her horse onto the train. Do not stop her. Yes it violates our pet policies and annoys other passengers. No we do not need another massacre. In fact when she gets on the train sing happy birthday over the intercom and encourage the other passengers to leave her alone. Pray to any god they don't bother her. Massacre. Like mustard gas, or shrapnel, or pink stuff. That's better than a feeding tube with water up your nose, ha 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 ha. F students are common on public transit. Something normal? Students with knives complaining about an F are not. Oh. Call 911. Offer the student candy. Do not run out of candy. It will stab you multiple times if you run out. That's a fairly normal death. Gee there is a red raven that will fly onto the train sometimes. You must speak to it. You must answer it in rhyme or it will kill you and eat you. That's would look like a body in a trench, or me, with needles in my arms and a feeding tube and water up the nose, ha 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 ha, I'm singing this contract, I need this job, I need this money. They're done. I have needs. I am more than a not zombie. I am human. Ha 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 sobbing. Howard would be leaving his small apartment, with half a container of takeout and three eggs in the fridge, 
and his moldy Matteris, and half read Manuel, with his expensive, so expensive metal leg attached and ready for his first day of work tomorrow. But for now he is going to cry at his wobbly desk, he seems to have something personal going on. Maybe he should have went without the leg, debt is not a good thing after all.